I've turned everything off. Including life support? Well, not life support, no. That would be silly. No, please. It's very, very quiet out here. Here I am sitting in the cobra. Falling towards Fuck. the giant Far Mr. Egg. above the world. Everything is purple, green, blue and red. <laughs> Planet Earth is blue and there's nothing I can do. I quite liked him in The Man That Fell to Earth. Weird movie. David Bowie! I saw Labyrinth the other day for the first time in years. That's I've got that. And I I saw that on CD and I bought it. It's such a good movie. You yeah. remind me of the babe. What babe? Babe with the power. What power? Power of voodoo. Who do you do? Do what? Remind me of the babe. I won't admit to having three copies. Okay, why have you got three copies? Ordinary DVD, Blu-ray, and a limited edition. Okay, I'm not. I'm. I haven't bothered with Blu-ray. I didn't see the point in investing in technology when broadband's going to wipe it off the safe face of the planet so quickly. I only got it because it was going cheap when my DVD player died. Ah, right. Yeah, the the only Blu-ray player I have is in the laptop, and it came with the machine. But I have no intention of buying any Blu-ray Blu stuff. Yeah, you've got the shuttered system, have you? Yeah. Yeah, next time I get yeah, next time I get my glasses, I was thinking of asking for them to be polarized. I've got polarized uh, glasses. They really work quite nicely. Yes. Yeah, cuz they're nice and comfortable too. My cockpit now looks like a snowstorm. Oh, what I do like is the way that uh, the lines of the planet are fracturing as they go through the ice. I'm down to zero and I've just got a little bit of frosting around the edges. But I'm I've turned everything off but I'm still travelling at uh, 500 clicks. Yeah. Oh, does does the fuel consumption go down if you throttle back? That's on a uh, Hawley. Yeah? Type six. Yeah, I think that's it. It's fairly efficient. I don't think you're actually saving fuel because you're running the engines. You're just not pumping out thrust. I've just got life support on, and that's generating using a fuel at point eight something per second. I have everything but life support uh, off, and obviously power plant is on, because I'm worried that my editing uh, software is not going to be able to cope with such a large um, uh, video frame when I uh, decide to edit it, because I think it breaks it into individual frames. Am I going to be on this video as in um, voice and everything? Uh, I'll probably replace the, fo the voice track and put a music one over. Oh, where? 2472, right, I'm 2900. Right, yeah, so in other words, the you're not seeing the other side because, of course, the, the facets are facing away from you. Yeah. So this is literally a gigantic shell of nothing. Yes, which is what I would expect in a 3D rendered universe. It's the way you build 3D models. I was hoping it was going to... 
Hey, you two are really going to get off in Star Citizen too, aren't you? Nope. Not going to play Star Citizen. Really? It's based on the Hitchhiker's Guide. Is it? Well, um, much of it um, inaccurate and otherwise completely <laughs> wrong. <laughs> no. Apocryphal and totally inaccurate. Yes. Yeah. Maybe it's got the words don't panic written on it in large friend letters friendly on letters. the cover. Yes, it scores over the Pandag uh, the Encyclopedia Galactica in two important respects. First, it's slightly cheaper, and second, it has the words "Don't panic" in large, friendly letters written on the cover. I love that phrase. Yeah, and everybody in Star Citizen already has a towel in their hangar. In that case, yeah, that that I know where the towels come from. In that case, it's a good bit of homage to. Uh, in that case, I'll have a look at Star Citizen when it comes out. Uh, 42 plays a prominent million role. Dollar towel simulator. Yeah, exactly. Actually, it's up to 50 million now, but it doesn't matter. Right. In that case, I definitely want the name Gagrava in that. <laughs> Why? Why? In two years' time, cheap end laptops will be playing Elite Dangerous. Yep. That means you're 10k away from it, because, yeah, mine says 4k here and I'm on it. If I blip forward a metre, it, it goes, it just expands out around me. Got a contact. Yes, it is Krish. Hello, Krish. We're meeting at the centre of the planet. You're seven kilometres away from me. I'm right on the um, marker here. It's, I'm pointing right at it. What would happen if I launched my emergency my emergency transmitter now? <laughs> do it. I might just do that. I wanted to do the meetup first and get some photographs of this. But I've got I've got a video of him of the approach of uh, Krish. Is it Krish or Krush? Quish. I can see your th you're close enough. I can see your thrusters. Are you still heading towards the marker? Yes. Okay. Because uh, your marker's in a different place than mine. Mine's just off my left, um, my starboard window. I'm going to follow you. I found the white circle now, thanks to you. Oh, and and I've now got a two kilometer marker around there when it was definitely four kilometers away. So I'm getting closer to the yeah one kilometer is just disappeared past my nose. Yeah, I can see it behind you. Yes. Oh, yeah, um, you came out just below it from my point of view. The white dot I was flying toward you just faded out. And it comes, if I reverse, it go, it comes back. 
Yeah, you've gone just to a purple face. Oh, no, now I've got some, some luminescence off your... I'll stay still so you can position it right, because that's going to be worth a screenshot. And I've just realised something. We're in open play and we've been in the same instance together for, what, half an hour now? Oh, hold it there, that's a gorgeous shot. High ref screenshot taken. I hit the wrong one again. I keep hitting function F10, which is mute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I haven't got voice attack yet. It, it did see, it does seem a little bit too Star Trekky for me. Um, not quite true for me, because I've yes. got their 50 hours. <laughs> Somehow, that's not a problem. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, you I... might I, have to rely on voice attack once you get your Oculus. No, because, because of the way these sticks work, I know where everything is. I'm going to put a couple of, um, tactile things on the chrome switches, because they don't I don't always get them right, but I pretty much hit them now without even glancing at the stick. High ref screenshot taken. What type of stick is it? 55. All right. No, don't, please don't move. Ah, oh, flip. I was so... I was perfectly... I was perfectly lined up to watch your front landing gear coming out and wanted to record it. Okay, well, Acellus Primus was a bust. No ships oh. worth having there. In that case, um, try Chango Dock. That's the other one. Oh. If Alunin, not Chango, then Alunin. try Romanenko. A loon in had them. That was it. Sorry, my mistake. Big apology. I got it at a loon in Enterprise. I think. All right. I'll it, was one, it was one of the A's, and I'm usually good with the first letter. Right. Could you deploy your landing gear, please, Quish? Let's try. Confirmed. Landing gear. That was... I just watched the front come out, but that was cool. The door flap folds down, slides up, and then the landing gear comes out. And your cockpit looks very pretty lit up by the sky. 